<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We are super thrilled to be sitting here with some of the girls from the Academy of Dance Arts for a very special reason. Now, this group of young ladies is unique because of their diversity. Sadly, there's typically not a lot of diversity in their world of dance competitions around Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And on a recent trip to Green Bay, there was a racist incident against this team. Devastated at first, the group decided they wanted to change the ending of their story and do something positive. So here to tell us about We Rise for Change event benefiting the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee is the Academy of Dance Art studio owner, Lindsay Stammer, and then Cedric Gardner from the Boys and Girls Club. And some of the Academy members, we've got Kayla, Abby, and Jaden next to me, these three here. Hi, ladies. Then Gianna, Diana, Jordan, and Brittany on the other side. Do we get it right? Here, you guys. <laughs> yes, we like to get it right. Thank nice you. to see you. Well, thank nice you so much. Thank, thank you for, for having, having us. us. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about um, your dance academy and why it makes it so different than other groups because as we talked about, a lot of other dance teams are very homogenous. They all look alike in the dance world. It's true. That happens a lot. I think our dance studio is extremely unique. We pull from 20 different zip codes around the Milwaukee area and as you can see, they all do look different, mm -hmm. but they all dance. And, and and that's the, that's the unifying uh, thing, unifying. right? And they're better for that diversity, I'm sure you feel. I feel like that, for sure. Yeah. yeah. What happened to you guys in Green Bay? I'm sure that was very sad for all of the girls who were involved. It was. There was a, there was a very negative inc incident that happened, and there was some bad feelings surrounding it. But we just decided, you know what? We're going to turn it into a positive, and we're going to make a positive out of a negative, and we're going to celebrate our diver diversity, and we're going to put on a show. I think Wonderful. it's probably shocking to kids your age to, you know, hear that there's still those sort of negative feelings about anyone in this world, and it's sad. And so, like for you guys, was it something that was said? Was it an action that was taken? What, what was it that, that prompted this negative incident? Well, it was definitely something that was said at an awards ceremony, mm. but like I said, after the incident, it kind of made us a closer group. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it yeah. pulled us together and it made us realize that we really wanted to celebrate what we were mm -hmm. and go from there. Well, and it sounds like if you were at an award ceremony, <laughs> it was a good, you You're know, a great thing right. for your dance team. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We did great at that competition. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but let's talk a little bit about this event that you're putting together. And that's why Cedric is here, too, because mm -hmm. he's with the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee. You're doing this event to benefit this group. Absolutely. So what's happening as part of the event? We are putting together a show, We Rise for Change. It's going to be at Destiny High School on on March 4th, mm -hmm. Saturday, March 4th, from four to six. Mm -hmm. We have 22 dances that our girls are gonna be dancing. And we also have a special guest, Erica Lofton, from Girls in Action. Yeah. She's also gonna be part of our show. Yep. Wow. And then She's we, been here before on our show. And mm -hmm. then Cedric's group is gonna be performing as well. What yeah. are you doing? So pretty much we have a group of kids at the Boys and Girls Club that um, it's about 30 of us that are gonna perform at the event. And um, so you're going to dance me personally. No, no. I'm, I, yeah, <laughs> okay. so I'm not dancing, but um, yeah, so that's what it is. That's yeah. great. What what um, what is important about the programs you guys do for dance and for the kids of girls and boys, uh, boys and girls club at the boys and girls club. We started a new program called the Wallace Foundation, also a youth arts initiative. So what we do is we take professional choreographers, professional artists, and we bring those guys back to Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Myself, I was on the TV show, So You Think You Can Dance, mm -hmm. and I finished top 12 in my season. Way to go. Yeah. So, so why aren't you dancing? Yeah. Why, 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 right? Because this, to me, this is more important yeah. than, um, you know, the glitz and glam of Hollywood. Like this right here, when I come back and I have friends to the right of me, friends to the left, and friends here in Milwaukee who are building positivity, mm -hmm. I, will, I like to be a part of that, you know. So. What do you see in terms of, because you've, you've had some serious accomplishments in the dance world, you know, yeah. in, 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 in terms of like incidents like this or diversity, because I feel like as somebody who watches shows like So You Think You Can Dance, yeah. diversity is celebrated. Diversity Absolutely. is exactly what dance is about in Absolutely. all these different types of dance that people bring I, to the stage. I'll go as far as to say that dance is the one single language that everybody understands worldwide. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to speak the same tongue but if you're moving, people are like, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. I can do that. You know, so we celebrate that diversity throughout the world. 
and to bring it back to Milwaukee with her idea, I mean, this is just absolutely terrific. Yeah. yeah. I want to just grab this, this here from the girls and, and hear a little bit from them. I want to make sure that it's on. I think it is. Um, and just to ask you guys about this event, what you're excited about, how you feel about performing with, with people who maybe don't look exactly the way that you do. Um, I think that it'll be a fun experience and I think that it's a good way to express our diversity amongst dancers, but not only through race, but through how our body shapes are and like who we are as people. So just to let people know that you can, you can do it. It doesn't really matter what you look like. Brittany, what are all those pins for? Um, they're from competitions that I've done and awards that I've won. Good for you. You what must be an all right dancer. Oh, yeah. All right. I mean, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Gianna, I want to hear from you. What, what do you love about dance? Um. <laughs> do you like to move? Do you like the music? Well, I like, I like mostly everything about it. Oh. Well, my first thing I like about it is that I've been, play, I've been dancing when I was three, and, I, and I'm still dancing. And you're how old now? Nine. So since you were three, that's oh. great. Good it's for you. Been, it's been nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Do you want to pass the microphone? Yeah. What about you? What do you love about dancing? And do you feel like these girls have all become your friends? Yeah, it's just really fun. Yeah? Yeah. And you're nine too, right? Mm -hmm. so and how about for you, Jordan? What do you love about dance? I like that I've gotten a lot of new friends since from dancing. Yeah? All right, let's you. pass it on over to you guys. Yeah, real quick over here. <laughs> let's start with you, Kayla. What do you love about dance and, and your team in general? Well, I feel like dance is a really great, great way to express what you're feeling without having to use words. And I just came to this studio last year, and I feel like everyone's really accepted me. Yeah. Nice. How old are you? I'm f uh, 16. You're 16. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Abby? Real quick. I like how like we're all a family, and like we all trust each other. Oh. Sweet. And Kayla? Um, like Kayla said, I feel like I can express my feelings and I made so many friends with dance and it just feels like a family. Oh, I love that. I love that. Thanks, really you, nice guys, so you guys, so much. This is a really fun thing for us to talk about. We appreciate your time. We're super excited about the We Rise for Change event that you have going on Saturday, March 4th, from 4 to 6 p.m. It's at Destiny High School, which is located on North 76th Street in Milwaukee. You can call the phone number that you see there on your screen, or there's a website, too, that you can visit. It's weriseforchange.eventbrite.com. And again, this is an event that's going to benefit the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee, also doing great work and part of this dance, which is so Thanks, fun. Thanks, you guys. Thank, Thank you all you. so yeah, much. Thank so you much. Yeah. Great yes. to see you.